Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for being here on this beautiful day. Today is a global day of action against the use of torture, not only in Guantanamo Bay, but in black sites all around the United States and all around the world, operated by the United States government. There are hundreds of people that are still being held in Guantanamo Bay who have been cleared of any wrongdoing. They've been accused of terrorism, but they've been found guilty of no crimes, yet no one will let them go home. And they're subject to torture. They're subject to waterboarding, to beating, to uh, sleep deprivation, being told to stand on one leg for 12 hours at a time, and something horrible known as rectal feeding that I doubt you want to know about. But today is part of a global day of action, and we're here just to get you to talk about and to think about what your tax dollars are funding. And if you recognize that the war on terror continues, we're bombing children in other countries, we're still putting people in cages, we're locking them up. In 2015, we still have to tell you that torture is wrong, regardless of the situation. The Senate report on torture showed that torture does not bring any intelligence, it does not bring any workable intelligence. That's a lie that's been sold to you by the U.S. government. It's not making you any safer, in fact, it's making you a lot less safe. All we're asking is you think about this topic. Thank you, guys. Saturday, March 28th. It's uh, the second day of action against torture here in Houston, Texas. Thank you to everybody who's doing something wherever you're at. Well, our numbers are small today, but we're out here to talk to people in Houston about the use of torture, not only in Guantanamo Bay, but recently we found out about Chicago's Holman Square being used by the Chicago PD, taking people without access to lawyers or families subject to beatings and uh, basically forms of torture right here in the United States, American citizens. So we're here to try to talk to people. We're going to do a little waterboarding simulation uh, and try to see if we can get some attention and get people talking and thinking about these things. Awesome, awesome. I heard about waterboarding uh, in school and, you know, on the internet they show different, like, uh, there's different stories popping up. And I was just amazed that the country that portrays itself to be such a, a moral power and they, they call themselves going to different countries to stop people from killing their own people and all these injustices around the world. Yet, this very country is violating human rights by torturing human beings for things that they have, have not been convicted of. And some of them, they haven't even told them what, you know what I mean, their charge is. And I've seen videos where they have them standing on like a, a post and they have like elect electrical wires on the ground and different things like that. And all of that is just, it's just immoral, it's wrong, you know what I mean? And it, it should stop now. Yeah. Without justice, no peace. Hi, can you tell us uh, why you're out here on this beautiful day at Herman Park with this sign that's pretty profound? Um, all right, so I'm here to protest what's happening in Guantanamo Bay right now. Um, basically, we're kidnapping a bunch of people just because we think they're terrorists or whatever, they fit some kind of profile, and then we're keeping them indefinitely in Guantanamo and torturing them not letting them speak to their family, not giving them a trial, all of this stuff, and it's not right. So if we don't have justice in the world, there's never going to be peace because people are always going to be angry. So. Good morning. Time to wake up, Mahadi. Freedom fighters, rebels, terrorists, we got you now. What do you got to say now? We need to find out where them terrorists are at. Come here. Come on, get up, get up. I just have a different way of looking at it than you do. And that's why we have the First Amendment, to protect oh, okay. my speech. 
from you. I'm looking, and I'm looking at all these, I'm looking at all these kids out here. You got all these. And kids. we have lots of support. You got, you got all these. Much support. support. Right. We got video evidence of everybody coming up to us. Shit out of me. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry that I offended you, but this is my first time. I mean, we got a lot of kids out here. You know, did those people that died in the Twin Towers have any rights? No, they didn't, and it's a shame that they had to die for that. Yeah, well, you're defending them. I'm not defending them. We're not defending them at all. We're defending them. We're not defending them. No, 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 see, you got the other right. Well, then why do you have to find out who's well, organizing it? Well, we need to know who, who I need to talk to. Who, who, who's in charge? We're just citizens. It's offensive. We're just citizens. It's, it's, it's offensive. I'm glad that it offends you. You know why? Because you know what? You're lucky you don't get your fucking ass kicked right now. That's three profanity So that they can wake up, shake themselves out of their stupor. Hey, at least you didn't resort to profanity. This is what I fought for as a veteran to defend freedom of speech. Hey, you better get out of my face, brother. Let me tell you what you fought for. This is what you fought for. You got tricked, buddy. I'm sorry. We all got tricked. We're all being lied to. We're all paying for this. Face reality, buddy. It's painful. I had to do it too. Just emotionally reactive. He's not thinking. If he was thinking, he'd realize you were right. I think we need to have the way ambulance on standby. We're not here to offend anybody. We're here to call attention to the years of torture by the United States government in Guantanamo Bay and black sites around the world. Also in Chicago, the Coleman Square was recently revealed by the Chicago PD. They're taking innocent people, they're taking people suspected of crimes, denying them the right to their lawyers, to their family, beating them. The Senate report on torture came out in November 2014. It revealed prevalent, abundant use of waterboarding, something known as rectal feeding, sleep deprivation, forcing people to stand on one leg at a time, and all kinds of other psychological torture. That's why we're here. There's cities all around the world today participating in this. We're not here to offend anybody. We're just here to talk to you. We're sorry if we've upset anybody, but this is the reality that's happening for many people around the world that the United States calls terrorists. We're not here to defend terrorism. We're not here to do any of that. We're here to connect to you as human beings to get you to recognize that your tax dollars are funding torture. They're funding horrible, disgusting, ugly things. And we're never going to stop this and get closer to each other as human beings unless we face that reality. Thank you, guys. It's the reality. You're speaking the truth on what it is. The truth is, Gordon, what do you, I mean, what do you think about it? We just offend you or your family? Nah, you know, you just let me know the truth. And some people don't like the truth, so... Truth is hurtful, you know. Whether yeah. you like it or not, it's, it is what it is. Do you think that we have a duty to talk to people about the truth, like a certain point, like to your friends or whoever it is you choose? But like we have an obligation and social beings or whatever you want to say to. Yeah, yeah, right. Speak your mind. You know? Whatever, if it's wrong, if it's wrong, or right. It's your opinion. You have the right to speak it. I think when we lose that, the terrorists won. Yeah. Hey man, appreciate your time, man. Have a beautiful day.